Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dev Tips. I'm so excited that you tuned in this Monday morning. It's been such a crazy week. I was able to publish a video on uh, PHP Academy. It was really, it's like an hour long video. It's a really long video, but it's so cool because uh, I was explaining bourbon and I've, I've used bourbon here a few times, but I really dug into bourbon. Also included in that video is an interview with one of the creators of bourbon. So I had a really great time making that. Check that out right here. Um, I, I really think you enjoy it. Also, uh, if you hadn't already, check out this video here which is a, a video of when I went to the Dribbble meetup at Yahoo, sponsored by Shopify. I talked to the Dribbble co-founder, uh, Dan Cedarholm. I talked to 10 other professional creatives about uh, how they got their start in the industry and you know, giving tips to people you know, who are out there who are looking to make an impact in this industry. So a lot of cool stuff is happening. But I wanted to quickly share a cool tip with you today. This is a website that I found called pumpala.net slash p slash app slash CSS vocabulary. So this is called CSS vocabulary. It's so cool. Um, you can just walk through here and like here's a, a bunch of vocabulary terms and it'll highlight the the corresponding um, items here on the, on the left. We can learn the difference between a statement and a rule set. It'll highlight the comments, media type. Like so, this little bit right here is called a media type, where this whole little thing is, is you know, qualifies as any one of these four things: uh, a media query, at rule. So, this is really cool to um, go and understand the, the different kind of like nuances of uh, of CSS. Because in order to talk intelligently about these things, we have to know you know how to refer to them correctly. And this is a pretty cool thing. I, I'm like, when I first found this thing, I just like stared at it for 20 minutes, just clicking all these things and be like, oh, that's what you call that. Like, like I didn't know, for example, um, so I didn't know that this was an expression. Um, and like these little like nuanced little parts of, of things, like this is a media type, this is an expression, uh, media features, like that's, I don't know. I think this is really cool. So what I'm recommending to you is to spend some time on this. Uh, there'll be a link down in the notes below and go through and brush up on your CS vocabulary. Even if you're a seasoned pro, I'm sure that you'll find a, a term in here or two that will surprise you that you didn't know. It's really nuanced and really detailed. So I recommend that. That's all I'm going to leave you with today. I'm working on some bigger stuff for the upcoming few weeks and I'm really excited to uh, talk to you then. Anyhow, take care everybody. I love your faces.